Hi everyone, this is Fly Fisher. Today I'm going to discuss the uh, Siemens drum armature for uh, Tesla's alternating motor. I wanted to make a clarification uh, when we're talking about the self-starting motor. I did mention the induction motor and the alternating motor. The induction motor is actually an incorrect statement. It's actually the exciter. And as you can see here in this diagram uh, pulled from one of his news articles, you can see the exciter on the left, which I was calling the induction motor, actually powering the alternating motor, which is to the right. And look at the scale and size of this actual motor itself. They have little doors. I mean, they're talking about this being a big machine pumping out a lot of electricity. But this, art, this video is really to explain the, the news articles I found regarding the drum armature, um, which is Siemens built. Uh, the next... Uh, slide here is to show the previous diagram how this is actually uh, the Tesla self-starting alternating motor. I did an extra another video on this so please refer to that video if you wanted to learn more about how the exciter and the alternating motor are connected in order for it to work. In the previous diagram it shows there's no fan belt in order to make this run it's just two wires connected to each other. So enjoy the articles and then there will be a closing at the end. So in conclu conclusion, I hope that the, uh, the information that I provided regarding the drum armature, the Siemens drum armature, helps for those that are interested in learning how to build this machine. Um, this diagram here, um, if we look a little closer, will actually show you the previous diagram 
and how the contact rings actually make contact with the drum armature for this alternating motor. So we're going to pull it up here so you can take a look. Now as you can see, there's a lever in the middle, right? That, that uh, lever in the middle is, that, is the actual contact ring that I was showing in the earlier diagram from that ebook that I was uh, provided. So please understand, there's no commutator. This is actually a different way of actually setting up the alternating motor. So again, the articles show it, prove it, that this can work and this can be a self-starting motor. Again, um, there's a lot of videos that the Library of Cong Congress published. So I put it on my playlist. So please take a look at them for a better understanding of the motor itself. This is Fly Fisher signing off.